for the topic. And I will share you the screen for this one. Okay, so are we finished? Oh, let us see, Nguyen, if we are done with this. Okay, let us check. Okay, so this is the last time we had yesterday, right? Last night. Okay, let us move if we are done. We are talking yesterday or last night. We talk about the present simple. Okay, we talk about present simple. We use the present simple to talk about something that happens regularly, always or never. Okay, we are done with this, right? We finish yeah. this one, task two, we finish. And also the civilian, the voiced and the voiceless. Okay, this one we are done. Okay, this one we are done. Okay, so this is the one that I told you that's supposed to be will be your activity, homework activity. But I don't know if you're doing this. So let us have here, please try to answer this one. Okay, in this case, Nguyen, you will have to write here, write true sentences about yourself. Use the present simple affirmative or negative, like, Get up early on Saturday. You will say, I don't get up early on Saturday. Okay, please write here. It's okay to write here because the teacher aunt is already in the city. The internet is good. Okay. Wait me for a minute, Nguyen. I will...
I watch TV every evening. I'm in the teacher. Okay. Okay. So let us check. So this is all about you, Moyen. So get up early on Saturdays. I don't get up early on Saturdays. Okay. How, how about playing hockey? Okay. Play ice hockey. I uh will you play hockey? I don't play ice hockey teacher. Okay, that's it. Walking to school every day. I don't walk to school every day, teacher. So, okay, what did you, uh, how will you go to school, Nguyen? You will? By, my car. By your dad's car? My... Yeah. Okay, so watch TV every evening. Oh, every evening you watch TV. What time did you watch TV, Nguyen? When I do, when I finish my homework. Yeah, like what time? 7 a.m.? Yeah. Like what time? 7. Yeah. 7, okay. Here, now, another. Argue a lot with my friends. Are you argue a lot with your friends? You know the word argue, Moyen? Do you know that word? The word argue. Do you know that word? Do you know the word argue, Moyen? Okay. Argue it means you will fight with your friends. Okay. Argue it means fighting with a friends. That is what we mean by the word argue. So it means you will fight your friends. Okay. Another one. Now, like dancing. Do you like dancing? Yeah, I like it. I don't like. I don't like dancing. Do you like to speak French? No. Yes. Oh, I don't speak French. Do a lot of homework at weekends. Do you have a lot of homework at weekends, Nguyen? Yeah, I have a lot. Of yes, I do a lot. I do a lot of Homework at weekends. Very good. Okay, great job, Moyen. So, Moyen, let us have this one, the next activity. Okay. I will uh, find here the next activity. <laughs> Are we done with this final infant?
Okay, so let's now move Muyan to letter C. It's about listening. Okay, so you will have here. Okay. I will share to you now the screen for this. Okay. Okay, so here we're gonna have the listening. Okay. So first we're gonna have here cook the dinner. vocabulary cook dinner. Okay, so do you know these are the phrasal verb about okay household chores? Do the ironing. Do the ironing. Okay, do you know the do the irony? Wait for me. Okay, Okay, next, do the ironing. Do the ironing. Next. Okay, do the washing. Do the washing. Okay, so look at that. Unload the dishwasher. Unload the dishwasher. Okay, unload the dishwasher. Next. Tidy my bedroom. Tidy my bedroom. Okay. Set the table. Set the table. Look at that picture. Tidy my bedroom, set the Okay, set the table, tidy my bedroom. Okay. So because Nguyen, uh, we have a rabbit in the house and the rabbit keeps on hopping everywhere. So that's why I let uh, the cage of the rabbit still in the hometown. So we have to send the, uh, the cage here in the city because the rabbit is very, they, they want to explore, they keep on running. Okay. You look at the photo of the Red Ford family. Look at them. What is the relationship between the people, do you think? So these are the Red Ford family. They are many. Muyan, look at them. They are many. Okay. So we have here, please read the text and answer the question about the Red Ford family. But before that, teacher Anne will going to read the story, okay? You please listen while teacher Anne is reading the story about a day in the life of the Radford family. Okay, Sue and Noel Radford live in a very big house in Moritambi in the north of England. The house is big, yes. The house is big. Wait, wait. The house is big, and then they've got 19 children. Their oldest child is 28, and the youngest is just a baby. Imagine 19 children. The day starts at 4 a.m. when Noel, a baker, goes to the work. Two hours later, he comes home and he wakes up the children. So prepares breakfast and makes 12 pack lunches. After breakfast, Noel takes the children to school in a minibus. Noel goes back to the bakery with his eldest daughter, Sophie. She works there too. Then Sue starts on the housework. He loads the dishwasher, cleans the house, and does the washing nine times a day. After lunch, she goes to the supermarket 
and she does the ironing. When Noel gets home at 5 p.m., he cooks dinner and the children set the table. After the dinner, Sue helps the children with their homework. The day ends at 10 p.m. when all the children go to bed. Imagine, Muyan, the Radford family has 19 children. Okay, so now, here Muyan, you write your answer on the question asked about the Radford family. Bakery teacher. Number one. What is Noel's job? Noel's job is a. It's bakery. a baker. Okay. Noel is a baker. Okay. Okay. Number two. What do you think is the answer for number two? Please check number two. What do you think is the answer for number two? Mm. 19. 19 teacher. Okay, it is? 19. Okay. How many people live in the Radford family? How many? Okay. 17 children and two parents. Actually, 19. 19 plus 2 is 21. 19 children plus 10, two parents, it's 19, a 21. So there are 21 people live in the Radford family. Imagine nine, 21, so many. Okay, now, so here, Muyan, please find seven of the housework activity below in the text in the task two. Okay, can you find what are the seven activities that the Radford family do. Okay, please try to check. Okay. Okay, you underline or you check? Okay. 
Teacher, I can find another teacher. So let us have here. So loads the dishwasher, correct? Okay, I will check. Okay, that one. Another cleans the house. Goes to the supermarket. Does the washing. Does the ironing. Cooks dinner. Okay. And another one we have here. What else? Okay, prepares breakfast. Okay. Makes to a pack of lunches. Okay. And then, uh, helps the children with their homework. Okay, set the table. Okay, so. These are the common things that usually the Redford family do in the whole day. Okay, yeah, that one. They've got a very tiring day. Imagine, two, the mother will have to end his day at 10 p.m. So that would be hard for Sue to do that. That's the irony. Okay, when Noel gets home at 5 p.m., cooks dinner. Okay. Set the table. Okay, now, very good. Thank you, Moyen. So here, Moyen, let us have the... Okay. Oh, wait me a minute. Okay. So here, underline the vowel sound in each group of words. Okay, so wait. You read the listening strategy one. Which underline vowel sound, which underline vowel sound in each group of words is different. Okay, remember, Nguyen, which underlined vowel sound in each group of words is different. Okay, lesson and check. So in listening strategy in English, you can always predict how words sound by looking at the spelling. You cannot predict that one. So learning how words are pronounced well allow you to understand when you hear them. So it means, although you already knew what are the underlying words, but you cannot predict. You cannot say, you cannot learn, you will not know what is the correct pronunciation of the word unless you will hear or listen to them, okay? Please. Lesson 1C. Exercise 5. 1. Sc Please encircle the letter of your choice, the one which is... Pool. 2. Look. 
cool. Two. Grandson. Class. Father. Grandma. Three. Wife. China. Italy. Like. Four. Go. Sun. Photo. Hello. Five. Eat. Meet. Seat. Great. Six. University. Uncle. Mum. Hungry. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yeah, do you have your answer already? Okay. <laughs> okay, now Moyen, I will check now. Okay, okay. Check. Okay, how about number one? Where is your answer in number one and number two? Okay, one more. Lesson 1C, exercise five. One. School. Two. Look. Cool. Two. Grandson. Class. Father. Grandma. Three. Wife. China. Italy. Like. Four. Go. Son. Photo. Hello. Five. Eat. Meet. Seat. Great. Six. University. Uncle. Mum. Hungry. Okay, now, teacher. <coughs> teacher, your mind. Yes. Okay, number one. Please answer number one, letter B. Okay, letter C. Okay, two. What is the underlined vowel sound which is different from number two? Okay, grandson. It's a grand class, father, grandma. Okay, here. Italy. Okay, very good. Son, it's O. Son, fall to hello. Okay, 
five here, you've got great. Eat, meet, sit, great. Okay, here you've got university here, uncle, mom, oh, 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 hungry. Okay, so it's you, you pronounce this as you university, uncle, mom, and hungry. Okay. okay, thank you, Moyen. So in this one, yeah, here. Read a uh, listening strategy to then listen and repeat the word. Which word in each pair do you hear first? Pay attention to the different vowel sound. Okay. Which word in each pair do you hear first? Pay attention to the different vowel sound. Hey, which word in each pair do you hear first? You pay attention to the different vowel sound. Lesson 1C, exercise 6. 1. Men, man. 2. Cup, cap. 3. Far, four. Four. Wait for a while. Okay, again. Which word in each pair, which word in each pair do you hear first? You pay attention to the different vowel sounds. So example, number one. You Wait. Hear first. Wet. And one C. Exercise six. One. Men. Man. Hey, man, you Two. hear first the word man. Cup. Cap. What did you hear Three. first? Far. Four. Four. Wait. Wet. Five. Leave. Live. Six. March. Match. Okay. Can you underline the word that is being mentioned first? The word that is being mentioned first. Okay. okay, so let us have here, okay, the word cup, this is cap, and this is cup, this is far, and this is far, this is wet, and this is weight. Okay, very good. Okay, wait me a minute, Mian.
live much. One, this is live and live. Okay, this one very good. It's match and much. Okay, very good, Nguyen. Great job. Okay, see Nguyen, we will continue this. Okay, by the way, let us finish this one. Let us finish the last one. So listen to Ryan and Joanna. They are talking about housework. Are the sentences true, Nguyen, or false? You write T for true and F for false. Then correct the false ones. Lesson 1C. Okay, Exercise listen. 8. My parents are a bit angry with me. Oh, why? My bedroom is untidy. Is it untidy? Yes, I suppose so. But I can't tidy it every day. It's so unfair. I share a bedroom with my sister, Claire. She's a really tidy person. She tidies our bedroom. Really? Lucky you. I tidy my bedroom every weekend. But I'm really busy on school days. Oh dear, that is a bit unfair. Yes, I do a lot of housework. I help my mum with the cooking, for example. What about you? We share the housework in our family. My dad cooks dinner. My mum does the washing and cleans the house. I unload the dishwasher and I do the ironing too. What about your brother? He's got exams at the moment, so he sits in his bedroom and does homework. Normally, he sets the table and he goes to the supermarket too with Dad. I think I prefer housework to homework. <laughs> Me too. I'm happy I haven't got exams this year. Okay. What is your answer, Nguyen? Okay. Can you answer it now? Can you answer again, teacher? Okay, one more. Lesson 1C. Exercise 8. My parents are a bit angry with me. Oh, why? My bedroom is untidy. Is it untidy? Yes, I suppose so. But I can't tidy it every day. It's so unfair. I share a bedroom with my sister, Claire. She's a really tidy person. She tidies our bedroom. Really? Lucky you. I tidy my bedroom every weekend, but I'm really busy on school days. Oh dear, that is a bit unfair. Yes, I do a lot of housework. I help my mum with the cooking, for example. What about you? We share the housework in our family. My dad cooks dinner. My mum does the washing and cleans the house. I unload the dishwasher and I do the ironing too. What about your brother? He's got exams at the moment, so he sits in his bedroom and does homework. Normally, he sets the table and he goes to the supermarket too with Dad. I think I prefer housework to homework. <laughs> Me too. I'm happy I haven't got exams this year. Okay, let us check your answer. Number one, Ryan think that his bedroom is tidy. It's false. Ryan did not think about that. Joanna tidy her bedroom? Correct. Ryan has a good time to tidy his bedroom every day. True. Joanna's family shares the housework. True. Joanna and Ryan like housework more than homework. True. Joanna has got exam at the moment. False. Okay, very good. Let's move on. Okay. Now, Moyen. Okay, so we don't have enough time. Okay. Teacher and we'll see you on when we end. Okay, I will see you on Sunday. 
10 a.m. Okay? Don't forget that. We will have a makeup class on Sunday. 10 p.m. 10 a.m. 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 10 a.m. Sunday. Okay? Don't forget, Wien. Okay. Okay, bye for now. Yeah.